In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Special welcome to our CCW ladies as we celebrate our installation mass about a, a month late, but it's good to have you. And a welcome to anybody who might be joining us for the first time since we've reopened here at St. Michael's. Welcome to our beautiful church. We celebrate the memorial of Saints Marcellinus and Peter today who were martyrs of the early church. We give thanks for their faithful example and we acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who surround us with protection through the glorious confession of the martyrs, Saints Marcellinus and Peter, grant that we may profit by imitating them and be upheld by their prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace and consider the patience of our Lord as salvation therefore beloved since you are forewarned be on your guard not to be led into the error of the unprincipled or to fall from your own stability but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be glory now and to the day of eternity amen the word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Every age, O Lord. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch in the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Mark. 
some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not, do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. One common benefit of these um, tragedies that we're ex experiencing recently, whether it's uh, COVID-19 or the whole um, issue with the death of George Floyd, is I think what's behind it, why people are upset, is because of the dignity of life. All life has value. And every one of us is made in the image and likeness of God. So that's true. You know, a lot of times people will say, well, most of the people who are getting sick are the ones in, like, the healthcare centers, the older people. Well, we know as Catholics that a, the value and dignity of a 92-year-old is the same as the value of any other life. There's still dignity. And certainly George Floyd has dignity. He's made in the image and likeness of God. And so behind that, although, yeah, we question the reactions, maybe especially to the reactions to uh, COVID, but it's because it's people care about life. And that's a good thing. And it's a reminder that we are all made in God's image. That's why every life has value. Jesus asks this famous question, and they bring him a coin, wondering whether they should pay tax or not. And he asks, whose image is on the coin? And as famous as that question is, the more important question is the one he doesn't ask. So what, what's he not asking? He's, the question he's not asking is, whose image are you made in? So go ahead and give the coin to Caesar. Give your money to the government. God doesn't want that. God wants you. Because you're made in the image and likeness of God. So that's, that's what our Lord wants from us. And obviously, it's a bigger price tag <laughs> to give our all, to give everything, to give ourselves to God. It starts by being generous, so it's good we got our, our CCW ladies, uh, women who serve the church. That's certainly one way we give, our, we give ourselves back to the Lord. You know, whose image are you made in? I'm made in the image of God. Well, then that's what I want. That's what the Lord is saying. I want you. So we do that by volunteering. We do that by living our life for Jesus Christ. We do that by imitating Jesus in, in our love and care for others confident that God will not be outdone in generosity. And I think also here in Stillwater, Minnesota, we can count our blessings. I would guess most of us haven't had to deal with COVID, and pretty safe that most of us have never dealt with the kind of things that uh, George Floyd had to deal with. And so we have been richly blessed, and we have an opportunity to give that back to the Lord. This time I invite Margaret Simmet up for the installation of our new CCW officers.
please join the members of St. Mary's and St. Michael's Council of Catholic Women as we come together to welcome and install our new officers. Will Denise Faust and Amy Gag, our outgoing co-presidents, along with Amy Vago, our outgoing secretary, please stand. On behalf of the Council of Catholic Women for the Churches of St. Michael and St. Mary, we appreciate and thank you for your service and leadership to CCW these past two years. You may be seated. Will Holly Corbett and Glenda Hool, our incoming co-presidents, please stand. On behalf of the CCW, we appreciate and thank you for your service and leadership. Please remain standing. Will Annie Linneman, our incoming vice president, please stand and remain standing. On behalf of the CCW, we appreciate and thank you for your service and leadership. Deb Fetter will also be joining Annie as an incoming vice president, but was unable to be here. Thank you to Deb for her service and leadership. Will Molly Krakowski, our incoming secretary, please stand and remain standing. On behalf of the CCW, we appreciate and thank you for your service and leadership. Will Karen Nelson, our current and continuing treasurer, please stand and remain standing. On behalf of the CCW, we appreciate and thank you for your service and leadership. Will you, the members of the Council of Catholic Women, commission these officers? I'm gonna have you look at your half sheets now. As members of this organization, we commission you as our newly elected officers to faithfully carry out the responsibilities of these positions. We will pray for your needs and we pledge our help and support in the work that you will do during your term in office. And now I declare you duly installed officers. Please join in our prayer to the patroness of the Council of Catholic Women. God, in your heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always see her motherly help in this life and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. O mother of good counsel, patroness of the National Council of Catholic Women, intercede for us that we may be wise, courageous, and living leaders of the church. Help us, dear mother, to know the mind of Jesus, your son. May the Holy Spirit fill us with the reverence for God's creation and with compassion for all of God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God. Thank you, Margaret, and let us stand and present our petitions. We pray this evening for our church, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Bernard Hebda, for Bishop Andrew Cousins, for all bishops, especially as across the country we look to restart our public masses. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our civil leaders, for elected officials, for lawmakers, for those especially making decisions regarding COVID, and we pray to the Lord. Pray for peace in our hearts and in our families, in our parishes, in our school, in the Twin Cities, and in our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray for all of our CCW members, especially those newly installed officers, those present tonight, those who could not be with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us pray for all the deceased members of CCW. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And for Scott Habus, for whom we offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving Father, we humbly ask that you hear these prayers, which we offer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, Marcellinus and Peter, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, O most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew, his assistant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are due to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In case it is your first time back in the new protocol, we have communion after Mass. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten you, but I will receive communion. And then Mass will continue with the prayer after communion, final blessing, prayer to St. Michael. So when we kneel for the prayer to St. Michael, just invite you to remain kneeling. And I will go wash my hands and put my mask on and come back out to give you communion. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. See how rich is the saints' reward from God. They died for Christ and will live forever. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. So I do want to congratulate the new officers, thank all of our CCW ladies, and thank our CCW wannabes, the four ladies up in the balcony so thank you sisters for the great music the Lord be with you may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.